Baron of Arcana put out a notice of class for the Paladin called Oath of the Watchers. And I, I'm wondering if someone in D&D is watching too much Buffy or too much Highlander. I'm not too sure which, maybe both. Because I, I'm, I'm looking at this class and the subclass and I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, it's, it's not bad. It's actually kind of cool. I like the idea that it's, it focuses away from Paladin uh, fighting usually against what you would think like as demons normally to fighting um, uh, different type of, 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 of uh, alien creatures. Yeah, you know? otherworldly uh, stuff. The, uh, the elementals the, and, and so forth. Um, it's not bad. Yeah. You know, it's, it's different, but it's, again, it, it gives me that, like, uh, uh, that feel that, like, this is someone that's, that's uh, on guard. So, so the idea of Over the Watch is that you're, you're on guard against uh, extra planar creatures, mm-hmm. you're, and you have certain abilities to fight up against them. Yeah. Um, is there, so what I, the one thing I do really like about this is I feel like paladins usually, while they are lawful in some sense all the time, it's very much usually lawful good or lawful evil mm-hmm. that you put someone in. So, like, you're either a redemption one or you're an ancients one, and, like, that's usually going to be good unless, like, the, the world is corrupt or something. And then uh, you have vengeance and oathbreaker for evil paladins. It, and you don't get the only real lawful neutral one, and that can, that can really be thrown in the air is the crown one to me, mm. because very much you're serving somebody in particular. Yeah. So it's like you don't care good or evil, and maybe your character does, but like for the most part, I see that, and I'm like, oh yeah, you just you serve this one person because of whatever reason, like your devotion to them or something or whatever. But like this one, it's very much no, I'm I'm protecting this world. Like, I don't care if you are a good or bad elemental. Like, you're a Genasi? Okay, that's the same thing as an elemental as far mm-hmm. as I'm concerned. Maybe. Yeah. M- maybe. Maybe not always. But, like, there, it was vigilance, loyalty, and I forget what the uh, third tenant was. Uh, for discipline. Them. And discipline. So it's very lawful versus uh, a specific uh, emotive uh, uh, moral compass. It's mm. more of a uh, ethical compass, which I, I think is... A little unique compared to what we've normally been getting. Yeah. yeah. Well, besides the the uh, focus on extraplanar creatures, uh, hope I'm saying that right. Extraplanar. Extraplanar. Planar. planar. Yeah. I don't know. One of the two. Um, but it, besides that, it's it's okay. Like I'm, I'm. Everything else is like I I've sort of seen it before in, mm-hmm. in different in different versions of either different systems or. Or different uh, D and D books, different subclasses. I feel that, <laughs> um, but I, I I do like the focus of it, and again, it, the role playing aspect of it is is, is intriguing. I I could see this in a in a different setting, but I think you have to be careful what type of setting. If you're if we're doing like say a, an underwater adventure, yep, this is may not have any use whatsoever. Or if no. it's um, I mean, um, unless extra planar includes elemental creatures like water elementals, or maybe you consider the kraken a a, a deific thing from another yeah. dimension that you got to kill. Imagine that's your mission in life. You just got to kill the kraken. You just got to kill the kraken. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. but I guess you, you got to be careful. You have to uh, talk to your dungeon master Definitely. about it. So that, or else you you probably be making this character for nothing. You know, that's true. Um, I do think that they do have a lot of really awesome skill those. And like to me, every time I I even keep looking over this thing. Every time I look it over more, I think Mage Slayer, mm. um, because. It raises your initiative. Uh, you have an aura that raises your initiative, which is great. Uh, the uh, capstone, not the, not the capstone, but the 15-level uh, ability, the Vigilant uh, Rebuke, where mm. if someone casts a spell near you and you like fend it off, which mm. with your saving throw aura, because of being a paladin, you should be able to, uh, you immediately do damage to that person. Yeah. And like with that increased initiative, it means you can get to that mage faster. And like not all mages are extra planar, but... like an illithid or like a mind flare or something mm. that's like that perfect combo of, of extra planar and magical is like your perfect enemy yeah <laughs> which i enjoy at least I, and definitely not perfect like this is i love paladins personally and this is not my favorite paladin but it's got some unique skills yeah that i that i really enjoy um you get a counter spell too and an alarm which uh, just puts that like ever watching idea yeah. out, plus it's to, to initiative i believe um uh, I believe if yeah, all of the Sentinel. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I, overall it's okay. I think for certain campaigns this would be a, a good fit. Yeah. Uh, I, again, I agree with you. Like, I wouldn't. So like, Descent into Avernus, and I'm gonna keep referencing that because because I'm, <laughs> I'm currently playing a game, and I'm sorry, guys. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, I 
you're in a world that's lawful so like you may not like have any real big issues there but and also it's their world so you may be like it's fine we're here in their world we're we're technically the invading force here and then it's like well now you're just <laughs> now your view <laughs> doesn't work with any of the things that you're supposed to do but it, again it could be unique but it could also just be really harrowing like you could be you could be pulling against your entire party the whole time which maybe sometimes you want to do but you don't yeah. want to be that one of a party of like five that's just totally different viewpoint on yeah. absolutely everything did you have a favorite ability or spell on this list at all a visual rebuke i think is the best at least for for play i love to see that in action just so you're like no you don't uh, yeah. and just you know strike back i get um that that's my favorite thing uh the 20th level ability uh mortal bulwark is yeah bulwark I, it's it's interesting i, I, I expected more for 20th level agreed uh but like True Sight's nice. Uh, yeah, but but again, nice, yeah. level 20 to get True Sight is kind of a pain. Yeah. I mean, you get some other abilities, like you get advantage against basically all attack rolls against the things that are the extra planar things, which is nice. But like, as we talked before, like we were talking about the Barbarian, where it's like, it's great that you're giving everybody reckless at- attack, which is advantage on everything, but like that's fit level 15. Like that, yeah. this is, uh, until you're, unless you're playing those high level games, it takes a while before you're getting those big abilities, which kind of bites yeah and by then i don't know by then it's like if you're 20 you might have a match a couple magic items that may give you this or even something better already like i think like to get a true sight thing for like 60 feet is like a very rare item which shouldn't be impossible to find but you don't get to always pick your items uh, depending on the dm and and how what's available so maybe it is something that's super useful and like i understand in character why it's useful because like things are hiding so you gotta be able to suss that out and like at level 20 you're supposed to be the being for that so yeah. like having that true sight makes sense but I, I understand like true sight and like even advantage only does does so much for you mm. but i think i think role play wise again they're making really unique choices for you mm. to have that chance to be a little bit different from what the normal class yeah might be again we say might because you all can play it however you want maybe you play a lawful palette maybe you play a lawful druid i don't know what the hell that is but maybe that's what you play um and it's 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 unique and i love that they're exploring but yeah i need a little more to keep me chomping at the bait you know yeah so yeah again great great subclass but has limited uses yeah all right so do you agree let us know in the comments below like and subscribe you know the drill we'll see you later